when I came out visiting first here to Stanford, uh, I worked in a company that was making a major uh, engineering decision about changing its product with maybe hundreds of millions of dollars. And though I had taught statistical decision theory, uh, when I first got to this company, uh, they s and gave a lecture to, they said, well, could we really use this to make this major decision that we have to make? And I said, why not? And so we worked through that whole year, you know, a day a week or something for me, on uh, how to apply this to actual decision problems as opposed to balls and urns or other things that decision theory had worried about. And then at the end of that year, when I had to write it up for a uh, conference in Boston, I had to say, well, what am I going to call it? And I said, well, decision engineering, it's probably pretty accurate, but it has this connotation that you're going to engineer the decision, make it out a, come out a certain way. Instead, analysis leaves more room for people to, to see that you're going to help them make the decision. And so that's where it came. That's where the term came from. That's what I did. Over many years, we've had many doctoral students, uh, dozens of them, in decision analysis. And so we're, we like the teaching of it. And these people have gone on to assume major uh, positions and start companies uh, all over the place. So what the question was, how could we get people who are already out there uh, professionally to learn this in an effective way? Because they, they can't really, most of them, come back to the university and enroll as students. And so that was the whole idea behind starting a program. And, strategic decision and risk management, which combined the, the kind of knowledge that we get at the university and the studying we do with the practice out there in the field, which some of my students do, but of course many other people do too. Anybody who has an important decision to make. One of the things we say is even though this will be very useful in your job, there's no restriction to using it in your life for any decision you might face. As a matter of fact, in our, in our uh, regular academic program, most of the students who come back to say, how would I solve this problem, are doing it about some medical decision in their family. Because the same ideas, the same concepts, the same principles are as useful in any kind of decision as they are in business decisions. Uh, we know that uh, what makes decisions difficult is uncertainty. If you knew what was going to happen, it'd be pretty easy to make the decision. And what this particular approach brings is a way to evaluate, in dollars and cents terms, what it would be worth knowing something that you don't know and making a decision. And I don't know of any other approach that does that.